Hi folks, welcome to Solar Technical. In today's video, I'm discussing batteries, what they are, the different types, and applications for each. In my last video, I discussed Plug Power's hydrogen fuel cell telecom product line. The link's at the end of this video. Batteries are devices whose chemical reactions create a flow of electrons in a circuit. From the website Save on Energy, any battery is made up of three parts, an anode or negative terminal, a cathode, the positive terminal, and some kind of electrolyte or substance that chemically reacts with the anode and the cathode. Batteries store potential energy in chemical form. It can be converted into kinetic energy in the form of electrical current flow at a particular voltage as long as the chemical conversion lasts. When the anode and cathode of the battery are connected to a circuit, a chemical reaction takes place between the anode and the electrolyte. This reaction causes electrons to flow through the circuit and back into the cathode, where another chemical reaction takes place. Once the material of the cathode or the anode is consumed, or no longer able to be used in the reaction, the battery is unable to produce electricity. At this point, your battery is dead. Disposable batteries are known as primary batteries and are not rechargeable. Those known as secondary batteries are rechargeable. Still, even rechargeable batteries wear out, and after a number of recharges, they too need to be replaced. There are as many different types of battery as there are chemistries used to make them. Various combinations are picked to optimize different attributes, like power density for a given weight, regardless of cost. Think of those used for satellites in outer space. Others are optimized for rapid discharges of hundreds to thousands of amps over a few seconds to a few minutes at a low cost. This type is often used in uninterruptible power supplies, or UPSs. Long on charge or float life measured in years at a reasonable cost are used in telecom central offices. Rugged rechargeable units like lithium mixtures are used in power tools and automobiles. Yet another type is a small, inexpensive, long life battery designed for very small discharge rates known as button batteries and often used to power onboard computer clocks. As you can see, no one design is appropriate for all applications. As always, if you'd like help picking the correct batteries for your application, or help with anything related to power, give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.